5G network deployments are underway worldwide and consumers can replace their 4G LTE devices with 5G devices. Those devices have to be tested from an R&D perspective for protocol and RF conformance for mobility. On top of that, network operator specific test plans to ensure the performance of the device under specific network conditions. To discuss this subject in more detail, I've invited my co-worker, colleague and dear friend Christian Dobmeyer. Welcome, Christian. Nice to be here. Thank you. Uh, Christian, so Rodenschwartz has been very successful for LTE device testing uh, based on the CMW500 uh, mobile radio tester platform. So how are we going to approach 5G device testing? Yeah, 5G device testing we approach by exactly extending the CMW500 by a new um, instrument. And this instrument um, is going to be used for 5G radio testing. So it's extending um, our CMW500, as you said, and the name is CMX500. Okay. And we have launched this box beginning of this year. Beginning of this year, cool. So uh, CMX500, X for extension, uh, building on the legacy of the CMW500, as you uh, said. Uh, what is the role of the CMW500 in the setup? Yeah, the CMW500 here has uh, basically two roles, two very important roles. So it's like, first of all, for 5G and R testing, of course, you need an LTE anchor, right? Yeah, so you need to non-standalone mode. Non mode. Yeah. So you need to um, simulate an LTE anchor cell. Mm -hmm. But in addition, also, you have all the legacy uh, technologies in your mobiles to be tested, right? And uh, those technologies are provided by the CMW500. So it's like LTE advanced, carrier aggregation testing, we have um, all the cellular standards, 2G, 3G, and so on. Okay. And the non-cellular standards as well. So Wi-Fi, Bluetooth is also yeah. coming from the CMW. Okay. So customers basically can use what they or stand with, stand with what they are used to, uh, testing the legacy technologies on the CMW 500, but then just adding the CMX for 5G and our uh, capabilities. Um, if I look at the two units, um, like the CMW 500 about launched 10 years ago, uh, and uh, the CMX, I mean, there's significant design differences, right? It's a uh, new industrial design, stylish, uh, a bigger box. So why is that? Well, so we have had a look into the 5G specification. And uh, as a result, um, it was very clear that you need really, really, really high power in the new box. And uh, that's why we decided to go with a new powerful um, instrument. Yeah. And in this instrument, you really can cover all the future needs in 5G new radio, which are coming up. So we talk about carrier aggregation with up to 400 megahertz um, bandwidths and so on. So that okay, is uh, the, box the target here. Okay. So if I look at it, I see in the front um, already two boards right visible there. What are these boards for? Yeah, what you see here is that the CMX500 is pretty modular, so you can uh, add modules. Um, depending on what you want to test. So these two modules, for example, they are um, needed for FR2 testing. So when you have a connection in millimeter wave um, over the air, for example, yeah. then you would need those two um, uh, yeah, modules to be fitted. If you don't want to do FR2 testing, you can just leave it away. Okay. So that are the IF boards, basically, and we would connect remote radio heads to go to 28 and 39 gigahertz. Is that right? Exactly. So this is... This is the uh, IF transceivers. So from there, we go on an IF frequency um, with the remote radio heads on an up-down conversion okay. onto an OTA setup. And uh, obviously, there's uh, additional slots which are currently not used. So I guess that's for the future? Yes. So at the moment, our CMX500, if you would compare it to a CMW500, would have something like 15 times more horsepower. Um, but if there is more to come in 5G, we have more space on the CMX to extend it. So it's really a future-proof investment for a customer. A, you're building on the legacy, on the installed base that you probably have already in the lab. You just add the CMX and uh, even in the future, you would be able to use that setup. Exactly. No investments into LTE. So every investment you do um, for 5G is really only for 5G and for the future. Okay. Um, so if I compare the CMW500 with the CMX500 again, I mean, I don't see a display, I don't see hard keys. How are we going to control the instrument? Yeah, that's the very new um, technology we're using here in uh, 5G new radio. We will have a web-based um, user interface, so you can go with your web 
browser from anywhere you are onto the test setup and uh, remote control your device. Cool, Christian. That sounds very interesting. Um, I'm really excited to take a look at this uh, web-based GUI to see how we can uh, control our new radio tester platform, the CMX500. But that's a topic for another video in our video series, Demystifying 5G.